There's going to be a massive debate for who deserves the Premier League manager of the season. There's so many managers that have done well this season that I'm not going to include in this video. For example, the Brighton manager, I don't know that guy's name, but he's obviously on pure violence. Ten Hag as well. I'm not going to include him in here, but I know he's definitely for the future, but he's not getting manager of the season this season. Unai Emery, the reason why I'm going to include him, yeah. Aston Villa looked like they were drowning. Last season, they were, what, 14th, bro? Now he's got them not only ahead of Tottenham, that dusty club that don't win nothing. He's got them in Europe, bro. And guarantee you, in the Conference League, he's going to win that. He's got dogs barking. He's got the man them scared, bro. Una Emery, very underrated guy still. So, yeah, this guy, definitely a candidate for me. All right, now we've got this guy right here. Yeah? This is the guy I thought would have won it. And I'm not just talking about the Premier League. I'm talking manager of the year. Because even in my prediction, I would have never put Arsenal to win the league, bro. He looked like he was going to win the league like four weeks ago. I don't know what happened. I don't know who spiked his drink, but we will never see anything like this again. Someone that's reigning as the king for that long, giving the throne to someone else, bro, at the end. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know how it happened, but he would have won it. Arteta would have won it if he just stayed consistent, but unfortunately, he folded. You saw his true colours. He's obviously a dusty guy as a manager. As you can see, I don't give a damn, bro. There's a lot you can take for this for this season, though, in terms of the young talent. But um, managerial-wise, I'm sorry, guys, but I have, to, I have to lean towards that Arte outside after what I've seen. Because in terms of the big the big trophies, Champions League, big trophy, Premier League, big trophy, I don't think this guy's going to be that guy that's going to get them to winning it, I'll be honest. So, yeah, um, he would have, but I, I think he'll still make the shortlist, though. So, yeah, that's why he's in this video. All right, now, this one... It's a bit complicated, I ain't gonna lie. This Pep Guardiola one's complicated because he obviously deserves to win it, innit? But if I'm talking from a different perspective, think of it like this. Let's say you're doing a little FIFA tournament with the man there, and you just slap up everyone consecutively. Everyone's getting slapped, bro. And then you have to put yourself on the bench, give the pad up because you keep on beating everyone. You just have to give the pad away. You get me? That's what it feels like. It feels like the only way he's not gonna win it is if like they decide, you know what, this guy... He's in a league of his own. Let's just look at the rest of the man then. Let's appreciate the other guys that obviously aren't on his level, which is, by me, as a supporter, I think that's completely fair. If he doesn't win it, I won't feel no type of way. I would actually prefer if he doesn't win it. I'd rather give it to someone else. I feel like Pep Guardiola, it's just a given. Same way how when you wake up and you have the luxury to breathe air, how it's just a normality in life. Yeah, he's probably the best manager on this planet. So he's obviously going to win it if we're looking at it like that. So yeah, for manager of the year, give it to this guy right now. Might as well. In my opinion, he hasn't even touched the financial surface yet. Like he hasn't even got indulged with the money that he's going to have in the future. He ain't even got used to that yet. And now he's in the Champions League. The threshold's going to be higher. He's going to be allowed to spend more money. And I believe he's got the scout that used to work for Brighton that got them the gems. I think works with him now as well. So it's going to be a, it's just going to be a madness. Newcastle, if I had a son right now and I could let him support one team, yeah, I'll be honest. Out of Newcastle and Man City right now, I'm choosing Newcastle, bro. I'll be real, like... I just feel like they haven't even touched the surface and for what he's accomplished already with the little that he spent to what I know he can spend it's long it's long bro my might as well forfeit from now just dash the controller at the TV close the laptop screen whatever ways are there to forfeit just yeah anything bro just don't get involved with Newcastle it's long bro I'll be honest so yeah these lot Eddie Howe manner of the year for me manager i can't talk manager of the year for sure bro yeah so um those are my candidates this is the guy that i think is gonna win it so i just had to tell you my opinion on this subject so yeah have a good day